Good day coders, this is Bugger Ray and we are back with another video, but this time around ChatGPT will be simplifying these coding concepts for us. So we've been hearing people chatting about ChatGPT this, ChatGPT that, and we're just gonna put this on the test. So we're gonna implement like a file upload um, using ChatGPT GPT in Angular, sorry for that. So we've already implemented like the back end for that. So you can watch our previous video where we implement like a file upload using form data. So first and foremost, now what we're going to do is actually uh, write the command that we're going to like ask chat GPT to implement for us. Right? So get file input from, um, get file, okay, get file from um, input and post to server using Angular. So well, let's see what this will give for us, right? So it will give us like a steps into like uh, getting like the implementation for this. So uh, what we see over here is that we need like an input of type file, which takes um, every time that file changes, right? That input changes, it will call this uh, upload file uh, function, which takes in like this event. So I'm not gonna like actually read these descriptions. You can do that um so i'm just gonna summarize and then over here we see that we're gonna have this file that we're gonna call right once the file changes we're just gonna take the first file that we picked right from that events target and then uh what then happens over here is that um we're gonna just take that selected file and then uh, after that selected file append that to form data and then pass in that form data uh into our actual post request all right, so um, that's actually what we're gonna do. So let's come here at the top, right? So first and foremost, we're just gonna copy this because isn't it ChatGPT is the one that's actually doing the code for us. So we're just gonna copy and paste this thing and see if it works, right? Um, so let's come over here and say, um, this is on file change, call this upload file, right? And then over here, there is this function, which is the upload file function. Then we'll come into our TS, right, over here. And then in our TS, we're going to just call this. We see these red squiggly lines, so meaning that we need to, like, clear that. And we see here we don't have, like, some sort of selected file, so we can just copy this and create that over here like a variable called selected file which takes in like type any right and we're just going to close that so once we take that selected file and then we need to like some sort of like post this um <laughs> into some sort of like form data so how can we actually do it so let's i think we can just declare some form data over here right uh, which is going to be form data, and then we're going to instantiate that new form form data or not because <laughs> now I think now we're not obeying the rules, right? We said chat GPT, uh, chat GPT is the one that's implementing the code, so let's rather copy and paste. <laughs> So um, now let's go to this upload file, right? So this is, uh, so we'll just uh, put this um, logic once the actual um, um, add to do button is clicked, then we'll just uh, carry on with this, right? So we'll copy these two over here or this, right? And then just come here and then we say, once we call this add to do, function we're just going to instantiate this form data that and then just pass in the selected file right um over here and yeah that's all and then over here we need to like call in like this endpoint that we're going to create so in order for us to create this which is like a post method we can just copy this and come to our to-do service over here and then we'll call in like our upload upload file function which takes in form data we just have any and over here then we'll return http post but we actually have to post to our actual endpoint so what we're going to do is these this right 
then we're going to call in like our actual base, right? This is coming from our environments.api url.forward slash. This is tasks and then forward slash upload, right? Which is coming from our C sharp backend over here, which is that, right? So let's just start our server in the meanwhile. So this should call in this endpoint, right? So let's go back to our actual Angular code, right? All right, we'll save this over here and then come right here and actually say, once we have like appended something to our form data, then we would wanna just uh, call like our HTTP request, right? Uh, which is that upload file um, endpoint, right? So this dot, um, to do service upload file, right? And then we're just gonna pass in our form data and then we wanna subscribe to that, right? And then we wanna get like our results. Uh, nope, that uh, results is of type any. Then we're just gonna console.log our actual results. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be from res. And then if we have like some sort of errors, this should like um, log, we wanna log our error, right? We can just say console error, no console error, right? I think this should work. Hmm. Oh, there's console error instead of console log. Okay, all right. So this should actually do the trick for us. We can just remove obsolete code. And then, yeah, that's all that we need, <laughs> if not mistaken. Uh, so now this is the time for like moment of truth, right? So now let's test this over here. So what we need to do is come right here and actually come to our to-do app, right? So what will happen over here is we'll just say add, right? After add, we'll pick a file, which is like our actual upload thumbnail, right? File over here. So if you can just go, if we go to our actual server under images, we don't have anything currently because we don't have like images in our assets. So we're just gonna upload through uh, via like our actual application, right? So we've picked that file, add that file and actually call this <laughs> now let's see what actually happened right uh so over here so over here we see that something actually did happen right so did we have like an error i think this was like 200 200 i think everything is fine over there now what we actually need to do is actually come to our server and actually see all right yeah we did like upload something <laughs> so this is our actual like thumbnail that we actually like uploaded to like the server so i guess <laughs> we'll just give this uh chat gpt uh, chat gpt some credit i mean we didn't have to like think of like the code that we needed to um actually uh, we need to actually implement this functionality. Uh, but in terms of people having like arguments in terms of like, will this chat GPT replace uh, our programmers? Uh, well, to my opinion, I would say, I don't know, anything is possible, but I think that you do need to know some sort of like these programming concepts, right? In order for you to like write these uh, commands or whatever you want. Uh, to actually achieve right uh, with your actual code right and you need to actually understand what you're actually doing so it serves no purpose if you're just gonna code out something with no understanding of what's actually going on and another thing is when you build like um, applications uh, that are going to be used by people they're going to be there's constantly going to be like requirements and stuff like that so you do actually some sort of need like a human to interpret what needs to be done and actually cater for like the different types of age cases so but i'm not saying what i'm saying is actually valid so anything is actually <laughs> anything can happen so um yeah so we've actually like implemented this and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe now peace